Hi and welcome back to another video. This is Rick from Excel Gorilla and today I will address a challenge that Ken Paul said on his blog post and his challenge is that the data he has uh, I should show you ranking and for his challenge he wants to show a ranking of the top five sales amounts. Now the biggest challenge is that if you show a top five and the number five and six they have the same amounts then how do you handle that? Well, what Ken would like to do then is if he has a top five amounts with the tie, then he would like to show the tie as well. So you might have a top six then. And all the other data in his set will be called other. So then you will have the top five, perhaps a six if you have a tie, and all the other data is then grouped as other. Now, how do you do that? Let's have a look at the data he provided for us. The data set that you see contains a column with all the item names and a column with all the sales. And as you can see, the number five and six, they are tied. Now, another requirement for the solution was that it is very dynamic. So then they can indicate it to make some sort of trigger for this. So let's start out with that. We're going to have a trigger here with the amount of items that we need. And let's start out with five and format this as a table. Now pull this into Power Query. We go to data from table slash range. And my default setting is to load it as a connection only. So I'm going to just close and load. The same I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to go to data from table slash range. And we have everything into Power Query. Okay, let's rename the second query top x. Perfect. Now, this is all the sales amounts that we have. And as I said, the challenge is if I want to show top five, these are going to be tied. But we can handle that. How will we do that? Let's start by adding a column starting from one, which would show the ranking of all the amounts if we would not look at ties and the numbers are from big to small. Now, we're going to group the data. And you can do that in three ways. You do go to home, press group by, transform, press group by, or you just right click and press group by. In this case, let's start out with the advanced tab. I would like to group it by all the sales amounts. So we're only going to have unique sales amounts by doing that. We're going to have a row with all the details. So let's call this column details. And we're going to have a row with the ranking using the minimum operation on the index column. So in this tab, we started out with 20 rows and we now got to 19 rows. And to see what items are here, we have to expand the details column. Deselect everything first, select item only and tick away the prefix. There we go again. Now we have our 20 rows and looking at our number five and six, we now see that they have a ranking of five and number six also has a ranking of five because they have the, set, the equal amounts. But we're not quite there yet because now we need the column. Uh, now we need to use the amounts in the other set to make sure that only those will be shown for the ranking and that all the other rows will be seen as other. Now we can do that by adding a conditional column. So we go to add column, press conditional column and let's move this. And this column we will call item uh, or category name. Now we're going to check if the ranking column is less than or equal to, in this case, five. You put five in the other query. Then I would like to show a column which is called the item. I would just see the item name. And if that doesn't exist, I want to see the column other. So now we would have the top five amounts, in this case, the top six due to a tie and all the other columns are called other. Now to make this a little bit more dynamic, we're going to replace this value by the first value of this query. And you can see that this column is called items in a top X query. So how can we do that? We start by writing is smaller or equal than top x, we're going to open our brackets, we want to see the first value, 
these were curly brackets. Then we're gonna open the square bracket. I say it's in column items and close the square bracket. Perfect. So right now we have made sure that if the value changes in the top X query, it will also change here. I will test that later. Now all that's left to do is make sure that we can group our data and we can do that again by right clicking group by and as I right click an item to group by you also see that it groups it here but in this case I actually want to group it by the category name then I'm gonna need the sum uh, the column I'll call sales and I'll need the sum of the sales and after doing that I will get a nice row with all the data that I need and here we go perfect and what we can then do is make sure to close and load this to the worksheet as a pivot chart existing worksheets and we put it right here okay and what I would like to do is make sure that we have Hmm, let's see, something went wrong here. Ah, I, I can tell right now. This one I would have to load as a connection only. So this is removed. And now we need to click on load to pivot chart for the right connection, because I chose the wrong connection for that. And it goes to F3, that's pivot chart. We're gonna have the sales amounts and values and the category names on the axis. Voila. And now I would like to sort this from A to Z. Sort from largest to smallest. And now you actually see that we have five categories and another category. But I do miss out on um, the right ranking here. So what we can do is we're gonna go back to the query. We go to get data launch editor, sales. And actually it just shows the ranking number one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So before we end up, let's add another index column. Starting from one actually. So. And then we have the right order for a ranking as well. So we close the load again. And in this case, index. And let's start out by changing this to a tabular layout without the totals. Now it's ranked in the right way. And as you can see from the screen, we now have number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups with a top five, and this one has a draw. And if we would make this a six, I could then refresh my data. I still have six. But if I, for example, would press eight now and refresh, I would now see the top eight, and this one is meant as a, an other. And that's a way to make your solution dynamic and make sure you only show the top X amount here and making sure that you handle ties. So this was another solution to rank in Power Query using ties. And the, the biggest thing we used was, first of all, using the group buying function and then later we made a query dynamic by referring to a second query. Now this is the end of the video. Do make sure to check out my website, excelgorilla.com. Follow me on Twitter and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching again.